Hi there and welcome back to I Have the Beholder 3. I am Byron and once the game has finished reloading we will continue and explore the second level of the Warrior's Tomb. Last time we ventured down this set of stairs this time we take the northern one. Because why not? So you still have to be very careful there are level drainers in this part of the level as well. So that is no fun at all apparently, the only way. Yeah, and we still have the moaning going on. Awesome. So, well, first of all, there goes the bless. Uh, so, this uh, sort of sarcophagus is already closed. Very nice. So, yeah, don't let, you know, the stairs fool you. You will not leave the second level. This is just uh, uh, like a different part of the second level here. Nothing too fancy. It's not like we're on the third level or anything now. But I guess there are lots of monsters behind this door because the game loaded like crazy. Oh great, Miss Gas has flooded the fucking room. And we suffer damage from poison. Well, how about we switch the lever? As the door slides open, the noxious vapor drifts away into the corridor. And we can breathe again. Have we been level drained? 742. No, we haven't been level drained. This is like level 10, 9, 11, 12, and 11. That's, we're still good. Not nice, not nice. So, uh, what's in here, I wonder? Nothing really. Hey. You go down first. likes you. Okay. That worked nicely. So, um, if we go in here again. Okay, this is where we came from. Get it. What do we have here? A shadow and another one. Interesting. Where would that take us to, I wonder? Let's try and find out. Okay. Okay, there's a teleporter here. But nothing else apparently. No. So would it, where would that teleporter take us to? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I get it. Well, that was useless. We're here at the beginning again. Um, see, this is where we came down from, and we went down those stairs here. Okay, that didn't take us anywhere. And that actually is some sort of circle here. If you go in here, this is where all the whites and the shadows attacked us. So, nothing new here. 
So, what do we have here, I wonder? Oh wait, isn't that a button on a wall? Oh yes, it is. This might be important. An orb. We have rod fragments. Okay. Well, let's see what's in here. The game lags like crazy, so it's probably monsters. We're good. So, another set of stairs, apparently. Okay. So, where do we go from here? We could go to the east. But that doesn't really take us anywhere right now, so let's go to the south. And check what's in here. More shadows. Who would have thought? Yeah, fuck you. And you too. Wait a second. Do they spawn here? Whenever... Oh yeah, I get it. There goes the prayer. So that means whenever I step here, I can fight them. Well, that's convenient. Do we need experience? Uh, how much XP do you have? 1,123,222. There goes the true seeing. Yeah, she gets a little XP. Oh well. I want another true seeing then, if it's all the same to you. Thank you very much. So that's one way to gain XP if we want. Always kill them first, because they drain levels. So, let's use those stairs. Oh, really? Fine. How about we save? So, well, this sort of muck uh, will slow us down if we actually go through them. We probably have to. See? We're moving slowly now. I have already pressed. Uh, we're turning slowly too. Okay. Move it. Shadows. Well, they move fast. Diana has reached another level. Very nice. Just checking whether anybody's sneaking up on us. I mean, I don't really know why it takes so long for you to turn around. I mean, okay, there's mud or, I don't know, some sort of glue on the floor, but you could just turn your head to see whether somebody is actually sneaking up on you. And we can move again. Thank you. So, what else do we have? There goes the spiritual hammer. Can I have another one? Sure thing. Uh, press the button for service before I do that. I will actually save.
Ah, as I thought. Well, maybe we have to go down there. Because we need that key. And we're back here. So sometimes it's a good idea to jump down a hole, a pit if you want. Okay, I see a button here. Although I cannot hit it. I clicked on it. I believe this may be what the captain needs to see. Which captain? Captain Flar's nameplate. Yeah, well, Captain Fly actually is the warrior that Tomb is dedicated to. So I guess it's a good thing that we have it. Um, if we want to like prove to him that he's really dead, well, I, I don't really know. I mean, having a you know a tombstone that has your name on it doesn't really prove anything. I could have a tombstone made with my name on it, and I'm still alive. So, but you know, this is how. Logic works in fantasy stories. There goes the haste. Can I have another one? Sure. So, uh, we will try and get out of this um, muddy area. I don't know. This area really could use, you know, some cleaning. It's dirty as fuck. Come on. What do I hear? Fuck you. Okay. Well, if you're weak, that doesn't mean you've lost XP, right? 7, 5, 2. No, that's cool. Let's move on then. You will regain your strength once you have um, rested. Thank you. Well, there's nothing in here. The spirit moves in mysterious ways. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. We shall save before we try our hands on those pits. So, one, two, three, one back, and we can actually go. Awesome! As you step into the chamber, the spirit of a fallen warrior materializes before you, raising his sword. The ghost booms, guards, guards, we have intruders. Uh, we talk. Who are you? What are you? I am Fla, captain of Mithranor's army. You must surrender your arms to the guards and then we will talk about what you are doing here. We aren't going to surrender anything to a ghost. Ghost? What are you talking about? You have to die to become a ghost. I am very much alive. There's an impeding battle. People's lives are at stake. I can't be dead. Impossible. What kind of treacherous game is this? What proof do you have of my death? Well, first of all, you can walk through walls. For unfortunately, this is no game, you reply. Here's a plague that marks your death. I cannot believe my own eyes. Truly, I am dead. <laughs> well, if it was that easy uh, in real life. The darkness did take my city. I would weep had I the tears of the living. I thank you for raising me from this half-living limbo. From releasing me from this half-living limbo. If you are truly here to investigate the evil, you will need this. To safely pass through the forest. This is a medallion of friendship. The medallion will let the trees and the forest know that you are friends. And they will not hinder you in any way, but beware. The monsters in the forest will show you no such concern. And now I have suddenly grown very tired. 
I will now seek my escape from this world. Goodbye, young heroes. May you resolve Mr. restore Mr. Noor's glory. So yeah, he sort of was the captain of the guard and Mr. Noor. Mr. Noor was overrun by evil forces like ten millennia ago. What the f... And, um, yeah, well... He was slain in the battle. He, he sacrificed his life so that the children and the women and, you know, the civilians could escape. So that's the thing. Hey, fuck off. Uh, yeah, apparently he didn't realize it. Because he was so loyal to the city, he couldn't leave, and therefore he became an undead. So I will try and get level train just to see the message. Come on, you can do it. Lost one level of experience in all spells. Okay, this is how it actually shows you. I wasn't really sure whether there would be a message, but there would be. There is a message, of course. There's always a message. So well, that was fun. We we actually came down here to get the mass medallion medallion of friendship. This is really needed. Oh, the plaque is etched with glyphs de depicting a magical force of immense power. Further runes of warning read: Halt! Do not touch. Okay, I will touch, but I will save before touching. Um. So, uh, what now? I think we will touch now. And we have lost all our shit, which is very bad, but there is at least this club. That is magical. So we can defend ourselves against those shadows. So, what did we lose, you ask? Well, we lost all the shit that's lying here. The plaque etched with glyphs depicting a magical force of immense power. Wait. So we have lost our stuff. Uh, that is actually hey, let go. Lying here. Well, everything that is magical has been taken from us. Those clubs. Well, they happen to be magical too, but they are made of wood. So we didn't lose them. As you can see, a club plus one. Not too bad. But now we have to get our shit back. Plate plus one. Dagger plus one. Chain plus two, an X plus two, dagger plus four, ring of wizardry. Hell yes, I want that. Another X plus two, ring of protection plus one, mace plus two. Braces of protection plus five, long sword plus four, ring of feather fall, plate plus three, long sword. Okay, another ring of feather fall, ring of protection plus two. Your halberd, splint mail, another helm, dagger plus three, ring of protection plus two, trident, I still have to identify that, dagger plus five, and another helm, 
short sword plus three, plate plus three, thieves tools, and a mace for you, and braces of protection, and an axe plus three actually. So let's see, you have minus 10, you have minus 10, minus 9, minus 10, very well. Minus 7, that's cool. Okay. So that was fun. I only need like, there are more of those magical clubs lying around. You need them to defend yourself against the shadows. Come closer. I'm looking, isn't there a plague or anything? No. There goes the true seeing again. God damn it. So you have no longer a true seeing, is that correct? But you may very well have. So, well, this is actually um, not a portal like an Eye of the Beholder 2 or 1. But if you put the rod fragments in here and the orb. And then um, you may have press a button or anything the monolith which appears to be of ancient design features four slots of varying sizes faith restores the soul ah okay and you have a rod of restoration. So if anybody gets level drained, you can restore your l levels with that. But it doesn't quite work that way. Well, because for instance, if you're like between the 10th and the 11th level, and you have almost reached the 11th level, but then you get level drained, and all of a sudden you're no longer level 10, you're level 9 now. Then you use the rod of restoration, and it drops you right in the beginning of the 10th level. So all the experience between the beginning of the 10th level and you know where you've been when you've been level drained almost the 11th level all of that stuff will be gone for good you have to uh, like get that back by adventuring so it, it doesn't really uh, bring you back to the point where you were when you were, were, were level drained uh, just hey what's that it uh, just um, puts you at the beginning of your lost level and not where you really were so, um, let's leave, I think. Should be a set of stairs somewhere. There is. Very well. And that's actually it. With the tombs. So, uh, we don't really need that here, so we can leave that here. Uh, yeah, I will, and I think we can switch back to swords now because, well, they are better. But I will hang on to the maces just in case I need a blunt weapon for a blunt person. Oh, do we get new spells for the Yenna? I wonder. Uh, yeah, we do actually. Another burning hands, please. Nothing. Oh yeah, another improved identifier, please. Another haste. Oh, maybe instead of another haste, a dispel magic. That's all good. And 
another true seeing. Thanks. We can go up to the ninth level. Wow. Very well. So, well, that was that. Yeah, well, the only thing we really needed here was... Um, oh, wait, we should... Um, leave me in peace. I try and identify that. Try and... It's plus three, okay. Not that cool, but hey, whatever. So, um... I don't know, let's keep one set of... Well, I'm thinking should we drop drop it? No, I'm gonna hang on to a suit of armor. And we are back in the burial glen, in the forest. Good thing the trees haven't, you know, regrown. So we don't have to do the whole uh, cutting down the rainforest thing again. So. A long abandoned road, nearly overgrown with veg vegetation winds its way deeper into the forest. A sundered gate hangs ajar by one hinge, as if snapped by some creature possessed of monstrous strength or unfathomable terror. Will you follow this trail? Yeah, I guess now would be a good time to follow this trail. Okay, so we could always leave again. This is no point of no return. At least I hope. Yeah, we're back in it. Okay. I like this music. The music is, is really nice and, well, atmospheric. But nevertheless, we will uh, end this video here and we will uh, explore this part of the forest in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.